Hey guys, Amanda Rouse here with Daisy Hellstone in the Town of Parker's Community Health Outreach Program, and welcome back to another episode of Food for Thought. In this week's episode, we make a delicious zucchini boat recipe that was fun, quick, and easy from the Let's Cook Together cookbook. As usual, our first step is to wash our hands in all of the produce. This recipe did not call for ground turkey, but boy were we happy with it. It was a great addition if you wanted to add some protein. All we did was add the same seasonings it called for to the turkey, which was a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. After that, it was time to make your boats. We cut the ends off both of the zucchini and then hollowed out the middle with a spoon and then put the inside into another bowl so that you can add it back later. We thought it would have been better to nuke the zucchini for a minute in the microwave to make it a little bit softer to hollow out. Do you have all the zucchini hollowed out, you can add your seasonings, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, onion powder, and Italian seasonings. After that, we cut the insides of the zucchini up a little bit more because they were larger chunks than we'd like, and so that we had enough to add back into the zucchini. We made one vegetarian, which was just adding back the inside of the zucchini, and three turkeys. We put the turkey in first and then added the zucchini on top. We then needed to bake for 15 minutes. While that was baking for 15 minutes, we cut up our fresh tomatoes we got from our garden. They were oddly shaped to go on the boats, but they still was delicious. We also cut up the basil to add to the top. Now that it's done most of its baking, we needed to add the cheese, tomatoes, and the basil, and then put them back in the oven until the cheese is melted, which was only about three minutes. Just a little information for the end result. This recipe was given to us by the Colorado River Indian Tribes Food Distribution Program from the Let's Cook Together cookbook they gave as gifts to their clients. But if you or anyone you know is struggling for food, reach out to your local food bank for help. And now, the final results. 